Oh my goodness, look at these guys. Four brand new models. Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTix.com. Big shout out to Cospet for their 2024 ruggedized smartwatches and the fact that they actually came to the CES, Consumer Electronics Show, in Las Vegas back in January and premiered these models. Here's what they look like compared to last year's models and we are going to look at all of them. Now today, we're going to jump in with my favorite, which is the T3 Ultra. And you can pick it up directly from the Cospet official store using our special exclusive link here at Smartwatch Ticks called bit.ly bit.ly slash Cospet T3 Ultra. It's currently in an early bird uh, offer special pricing. In the show notes, I've got a, an exclusive coupon that goes along with this link. Use that coupon and link together to get you the best price possible. Quick overview, the Ultras and the Tanks differ primarily in that you have GPS in the Ultras. The Tanks don't. A lot of the other stuff is very, very similar. For example, look at all of this. Quality certifications, uh, IP69, 5 ATM waterproof. You got a mill standard uh, on here, the 810H, and uh, Gorilla Glass on it as well. But when you look on the side, you see you have dual band, six satellite positioning system with these ultras, which lets you do barometric pressure, built-in compass, altitude. This is the Adventurer's smartwatch. And the regular one, hey, not too shabby at all, does all of the other kind of features, 130 different sport modes, health monitoring, uh, same size and AMOLED display, hi-fi Bluetooth calling, as well as the Corning glass screen, full medi metal unibody design, and again, 5 ATM and IP69 uh, certification on here as well. We got a lot to cover. It's all going to be broken up into different videos, and today we start with the unboxing of the T3 Ultra. Now, I usually show you a product uh, information page where you can buy these watches, how much they cost, and talk about a discount coupon. But these are so new, you don't even know about them. I can't find them anywhere on the web. So we're going to go with the information I've got. And at the very beginning, hopefully, I showed you uh, places that you could purchase these and give us a little bit of help here at uh, Smartwatch Ticks. Dot com. These are the comparison specs between all four models. We will be going over this in other videos. The Tank M3 and M3 Ultra, and then the Round Tank T3 and T3 Ultra. So let's take a look at this category. These are the uh, basic functions or features inside of them. The memory, the chip. What I'd point out is it's using Bluetooth 5.3 latest technology. It's a 1.46 inch AMOLED screen beautiful AMOLED on this one 466 by 466 high resolution with uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 cover you got a 470 hour milliamp hour pure cobalt battery for nice long life even with the always on mode activated it really really good long life on this one stainless steel bezel plastic partition that's the little color thing you'll see around the edge and zinc alloy middle frame with stainless steel case you got a VP60A2, supports live detection, heart rate, blood oxygen. This is all for your biometrics. A fun little band. It really is stretchy and nice, a liquid silicone. Now, they're pointing out that the mole cost uh, is at 10 times what it is for ordinary silicone. So you can really tell the difference in the band as well. 170 plus sports modes with intelligent recognition of your choice of the six walking, running, cycling, rowing, and so forth. And for you guys that are swimmers, it supports the S Wolf efficiency detection. Dynamic watch faces, and this is new screensaver watch faces. What a concept! How many times have we got a choice of an analog or digital always on bland face, right? Not anymore. You have 
The um, screensaver faces tied to actual watch faces that integrate beautifully with them, and you have separate ones you can download. You'll see all of that. You got six dual frequency GPS in this particular model, and that lets us do air pressure, altitude, compass, and all these other things. And of course, super waterproofing because of its mil spec certification. So we open the box, and inside, Reveal the module itself floating on the top. Mill standard 810H. H now certification. You guys have seen us go, I think, from F all the way up to where we are now at H. You've got a little cover piece on this that holds it together. And there's the actual body itself. There's that little plastic ring running around it in orange. And wait till you see the integrated watch faces. What does that say? Rugged design here little color highlights on the buttons on this uh, silver model. When you dig deeper into the box, we've got an inserted box. And in here are those silicone bands I was talking about. Now I want you to check this out. You, you watching? Look at how much give there is in here. And the holes go way around. So it can tighten up on tiny wrists and look really great on large wrists as well. On this one, You've got two different belt loops on it, and this one floats right up near the buckle, so you're not going to have the buckle flapping out. And this one, of course, is adjustable. We'll put those on the watch in a minute. For charging, you've got an actual dock, a magnetic dock now, and it lines up with the pins. Just slap it on there, and uh, it hovers and holds it pretty well. It's a pretty heavy watch. I don't want to let this one drop on the floor. You guys always give me comments. Why did you let the thing fall on the floor? Well, this one's rugged. It probably could. Um, standard USB charger on this one. And then some other things are in here. As we dig deeper, you've got uh, a dust absorber guide sticker for putting on a screen protector, which is right in here, a glass screen protector on the corning glass itself if you want to and wipers to do all that you want to make sure you don't have any dust because um, that'll leave the little bubbles on there but that comes complete with that little kit that you usually have to pay extra if you want to uh, add that to your watch cospet tank 3 ultra users manual there's the uh, qr code to download this manual in a pdf format if you want to pretty simple it's just showing you the basic um packing list what's in it how to uh, set it up turn it on what the features are you've got um, the charging information on there and then the connection to the cosbet fit yes they've got their own app by cosbet for cosbet watches so they can integrate uh, perfectly with the watch itself and some information on how you can get it from either uh, ios or android um, how you register the app and get it set up, and then how you can pair everything together. And you want to be pairing for two things, right? The app itself for all of the data that's transferred over and notifications sent and so forth. And then also for your uh, phone calling because it's a Bluetooth calling watch to boot. Oh, I thought it was going to be Chinese, but no, there's a description of the different buttons. There's the select button here. These are the different things it'll do. Your back button, which is programmable on some things, I think, on this. The up button on the left. The down button on the right. And how you just basically change watch faces, press and hold, and then you can go back and forth. Um, your sport recognition system, you can set that up so you don't even have to touch your watch if you start a run or a walk or whatever. There's the setup for Bluetooth calling. Now, this is where it gets complicated oftentimes, and uh, you have to troubleshoot possibly. So make sure you work your way through the Bluetooth calling setup. Over the air update, this is when uh, they're going to push new firmware to you. It's fully supported to do that. And then basic warranty, um, security tips, some FCC notification, notices, and so forth. So... It's an amazing manual as well in that it's fully integrated into the United States with FCC and other information. And the fact they've gone to the Consumer Electronics Show, they're really looking to make a presence and uh, become a world-renowned watch manufacturer. So let's put it together. Here we go. 
a little press on the upper right button and give it a second or two. It'll vibrate and come into the opening logo and then almost instantly you're right into the initial watch face. Now pay attention to this face. Did you see it disappear and the hands remain in the same color and style? Really, really great. There it is back again. This is uh, one of those coordinated faces where the, the hands in analog on the always on match exactly the hands that are there on the surface. you got a lot of features in this one. I'm going to go over the display options for you first so we can um, you, you can really see how you can use this one. Notice that uh, it's got a fast timeout. So first thing I'm going to do is increase the timeout. There, I've already done it. Uh, we'll show you how to do that. But check this out. I can cover the watch with my palm and instantly turn it off. I can double tap it if I have it set for that to turn it back on again. If I want, I can twist my wrist and light it back up again, turn it back off. All of these options, either individually or collectively, can be on the watch and used as you like. Okay, we'll go through that when we get to the settings. For now, I just want to show you all of the different controls. You've got the date and uh, whether you're connected to your phone and whether you're set up for Bluetooth call. We'll initiate all that stuff, well, right now. It's as simple as just tapping the phone icon, and that turns on the Bluetooth connected calling. This is your overall brightness level. You can get this super bright. It'll wash out uh, the camera on a bright screen. Outdoors, super easy to see. I, a thousand nits and more, I'm sure, on this one. I have to run it down at like about number two. This is the lowest. It's good for nighttime. About right there. Um, you can turn on and off your uh, uh, alarm information. There's your power level. And, of course, you can go into a power savings mode if you want to. And this has been running for two days now, day and night. Uh, and it's only dropped down to 88%. Do not disturb. You can turn it on manually or you can have it set to be on a schedule if you'd like to. And check it out. You've got these, but you can edit and add of the six that you've got here. You can take off these two if you wanted to, and you can add any of these other ones here, which includes the autumn, uh, turning on and off, twist your wrist to see the time, a flashlight, alarms, um, information, uh, all kinds of different things, vibration for or find your phone. All of those are available, but you'll only see um, the, the stock four and one and whichever one of these two you want to add to it. But you do have that capability here. You'll see when we get into the retang rectangular M3 uh, Ultra that you have a little bit more capability to see some things. That's one of the minor differences between these. OK, we're going to go into your settings, walk you through a couple of things. It starts out with changing the watch faces, and you can do that by pressing and holding, right? Or you can um, do it this way. Either way, you'll get into this mode, and you can move through and look at the different faces. Now, these are the stock faces. They've got some in here with blue now, uh, but most of it's black, white, and orange. And you have some uh, downloadable. And for my friends over in India, yeah, they're even thinking of you. They've got... Uh, custom faces that look like this. This is a nice analog face. When it goes into the always on display, this is one of the stock standard always on faces. You notice it doesn't match directly with the downloaded face, but you could have digital here, analog, and two or three different styles of these if you want to. It can bring this back as simple as that. We could switch to a different face. This is one you can customize. Um, this one's kind of fun. You've got uh, heart rate information, calories burned, distance traveled, all of that stuff in here. And of course, you can go to a digital display if you want to. Isn't this fun? Wow. All right. So we were in settings, changing the watch face. Here you can select a uh, language. You can follow the app, uh, whatever your app is, or you can select any of these faces. Now I'm taking time on this review to run through these things so that on the other reviews we'll be doing on the three other watches and comparison reviews, um, we don't have to do this over and over again. I'll refer you guys back to this review to uh, see everything. I'm just going to leave it set to pick up the language automatically from my phone. Now you got always on display, and here's where it gets really fun. 
You can follow the current watch face, which you've seen when I switch watch faces, the always on changes. Or you can go into custom and you have a face gallery that you can go into. And in here, these are stock faces. We just saw that one. This is a different one. There's a digital. Here's a different analog with different type of uh, hands and another digital and another digital. So whichever one you'd like, if, it's, if you don't have it set up to follow the face itself, you can select it and that will be the one that it'll default to um, as the custom. Now, you also have um, settings for all day or, or a schedule. I have mine set to start at seven in the morning and turn on at seven at night. When it's in schedule, you'll see the always on display. When it's not, it'll just go black when the, the main one times out. If you set it for all day, it will always happen, day or night. You just, it's going to go into always on display. So lots of uh, flexibility there. Display and brightness as it sounds. We can change the brightness here with a, well, with a slider of sorts, but it's incremental. You have to touch it to go. And you can do your duration, and this is where we're having fun. You have the raise to wake. That uh, will light the screen up when you twist your wrist. Tap to wake which means you tap it, of course, when it's off in always on or black, and it'll come back on. With both of those off, when the screen goes off, it stays black. You can't turn it on. You have to push a button. Some folks like that, especially if you're being really active and don't want the watch constantly coming on. Now, this one, you can switch watch face on wrist raise. Let me show you. Turn that one on. Let's go back here, and let's time it out. Let's twist the wrist and a different face comes up. And I'm gonna time it out. You could either wait for it to time out or we're moving along faster by doing it this way. There's another watch face. Time it out again or close that. And now we're back to this one, which could be a picture um, that you've added from your phone or whatever. And it's going back to that stock watch face that we selected earlier. So it randomly goes through all the different faces that you've got and will um, give you uh, a different face every time you twist your wrist. If you have that turn on, that's set up in the display brightness, and I'll turn that off for now, but I'm going to leave these other guys on. That's how I like to run mine. Wow, and that's just co covering the screen, guys. Then you've got sound and vibration. We want media audio. This is how you're going to be able to use your music player when your Bluetooth called for phone calls. You, a lot of folks get miss this kind of thing, and if you don't, you're not able to play your YouTube streaming or your podcast through your watch. Well, you got to turn it on. And silent mode, of course, will uh, set it up so it'll silent alarms and everything else. Um, you've got your overall volume, and we're just going to crank that all the way up when we demo the speaker on this one. And your vibrations, strong, weak, or off. And uh, strong. It's kind of a higher frequency, if that makes sense. It's a higher, and this one is more of a, and off is off. But they're about the same uh, duration, about a half a second or so. Themes, these are for all of your different uh, apps in the app drawer. Shows you what they look like. I keep it on list. It makes it easier for us to go through. But you have quite a few uh, listed ones here. Um, password protection on the watch if you want to, date and time, you can sync it or you can set it manually. You've got the do not disturb we talked about either in the app or on the watch. You can go in there and set this thing up um, and turn it on or of course by pulling down and tapping the icon if you have that there too. Now the sports recognition, once this is enabled, then it's going to remind you when you look like you're exercising. Of course, you have to do it for a while. I don't know, five to ten minutes. And it'll hit in there and say, wow, it looks like this guy is exercising. So let's start tracking it as an actual workout. Turn that on. It's going to use a little bit more power because it has to monitor all of that. But it won't miss any of your uh, workouts. Then you've got this uh, bottom key thing here, which is... Uh, programming the bottom key for whatever you want it to be. When you tap it, it could be heart rate, workout, all of these different apps that are available. And I believe I have mine set for the compass. Remember, because this has GPS in it, you got compass capability, barometer in it, altitude in it, all those things are in it. So 
when I bail out of here and I press this, there, I'm into the compass, which I got to calibrate. So compass calibration is easy. A few turns like this and it'll lock in. I'm sitting in the north. Look at this, how fast and quick and accurate it is jumping right into its particular spot. Now, that is when I just simply press the bottom button because that's what I programmed it for. But wait, we were going through the settings. So we were at the bottom setting key. And again, that could be your uh, voice assistant, your music player, whatever you want. Here's cover lock. This is the thing we were showing you. And you can turn it on or off right here and it will close the uh, the watch down when you cover the screen. I don't know why they didn't put this in display. That should have been just another one of those check marks, but I guess it's important enough they wanted to put it out here. The QR code, nice and bright. This is what you scan to download the app, um, the Cospet Fit app, but I recommend you use the link in the show notes for sure. Go directly to the Google Play Store to download that one. Now, a few more things. System menu and about. The system menu is basically your restart, power off, and reset. Again, reset. Resets it to factory default, wipes all your data out like you're going to get rid of the watch. And a restart is just simply rebooting the watch back up again. You don't lose anything. And finally, about, it's the Tank T3 Ultra. Some basic information about it. And that's everything in the overall settings. And we showed you how you can edit it and add things to it if you want to and take those away. We have also shown you all of the different watch faces. Now, when we scroll to the left, you get into your old, what they call the app drawer, right? So the first thing in the app list is your calling. This is where you have contacts, call logs, your overall keypad, and we have to turn our calling on in order to get access to that. And there we go. The keypad is available to make a direct call. And then there's your SOS. And if you've set it up in the app, you can have an emergency contact. And if this is all set up, you press that and it will make that emergency call. But you say, wait, I don't want to go all the way over here and then touch there and go into there. I'm having an emergency, right? That's all right. Press and hold the top button. You get some options. This is how you power down. This is how you restart. And this is how you make that SOS call. Okay, so you can set it all up through the app. You want to do that ahead of time and you can get access to it then uh, through that means. But if you need to, you can get it also directly from the call uh, button in your app list. You got your daily activity, that's your step count and so forth. Uh, distance traveled, calories burned, workouts. These are all the different workouts you can do. Um, well, not all of them, it's 170 some odd, but these are ones that are in here. Now, certain ones like cycling and uh, outdoor walking and running can tie into the GPS so that you can use um, the GPS to get your, um, your track. Uh, workout uh, records are here, and if you've done any activities, uh, the records will show up for you on the watch right there. Then you get into your basic heart rate, and of course you got to have the diodes covered with some part of your body, anywhere on your skin, heel of your foot, your index finger, top of your nose, whatever. Uh, it'll generally generate a heart rate for you. You can wear it, of course, on your arm, and uh, that's typically where you get your heart rate. It'll show you your resting heart rate. There it is coming in right now. Your resting heart rate is calibrated from wearing the watch overnight, and this, uh, don't take the first reading, let it settle down and it'll adjust and give you your, um, your current reading. And 30 minutes ago, the average was 60 and I'm at about 62 right now. Then last night's sleep time is in here. There's the total. And I got a goal of a hundred percent. I met, you've got uh, wake up time, uh, and sleep settings are here that you can go into. You can add a schedule and a sleep goal. You can have sleep reminders on this one. So pretty sophisticated what you can do straight from the watch itself. And of course, more capabilities are there on the, uh, the app uh, uh, in the phone. Then you got blood oxygen. Now blood oxygen is doing a continuous chart and I'm not seeing the diodes, but it uh, generally uses the red diodes for that. 
You can come in here and do some uh, settings and have automatic blood oxygen measures turned on for every 10 minutes or uh, less frequency if you want to. And even have an alert if your blood oxygen drops too low, you'll be able to um, have an alert uh, wake you up in the middle of the night, for example. And these are the readings I'm getting. 96 is the low, it looks like. 99 roughly is the high. And that's... Uh, the information there. Okay, that's all on blood oxygen. Now we're seeing this as we're going through the app drawer, but a lot of these are available as you go around on the side too. Here's stress measurement from 19 to 68. It's on a scale of 100. Um, you can start measurement right here. And isn't that a fun graphic that they're doing? Now I'm not wearing it, I'm not gonna get an accurate result here, but it's using green diodes on the back and you have to stay still and it'll give you a reading of, of a number uh, that's your current stress level. Then we get the music player. Now let's play with this. I'm in the music player and I'm going to tie this to the phone. Are you ready? Check this out, hit play. And there you go. There's some speakers. Wow, I can't quite silence it. Interesting. Well, it's coming out of multiple places, I guess. Nice and clear, huh? Wow, and phone calls. Same quality, good, rich sound. Very, very well done on this watch. Then you got your voice assistant, your Google or Siri, and you got weather in your area, which it tells you right up at the top. You got temperature, of course, in Fahrenheit or centigrade, however you set it, UV index. You've got forecast, beautiful color screen, forecast by the days with highs and lows. All of that available for you. Nice, that's the weather uh, app. And it got a compass, and we showed you that one already. And that's maintaining calibration after we've uh, put that in here. Barometric altitude, come back here. Very sensitive screen. There's the uh, barometric pressure as we activated the, the process. And altitude in meters. And an exclamation says it's based on readings from the barometric pressure sensor. Changes in weather can affect the barometric pressure, which will impact the accuracy of the altitude. So don't take it as a great, you know, for, for good. Make, make sure you pretty much know whether it's accurate or not. And you can see it's changing, and I haven't moved from where I'm at for quite a while now. But uh, you've got that there. And you've got breathing exercises for duration, pace, and you can start, and it'll help you to relax your breathing. Overall notifications sent from your phone. This is where you can see those. Uh, you got a built-in stopwatch on this one. We can start it up, leave the app, do other things, come back in, and it's still running in the background. And it's even got a little analog equivalent of a stopwatch going around the outside. You can set alarms on here uh, directly on the watch. And you got countdown timers as well that you have uh, incremental ones and you can do a custom one. Um, and you just set it and go. Nice little uh, calculator built in with good size digits and uh, bright, easy to read. Remote shutter for taking pictures. A flashlight we've seen. Well, there it is, super bright with the AMOLED screen off and on directly. Then you've got... Um, Find your phone, and there's Women's Health. If you have that set up in the app, it'll help you track where you are in your cycle, ladies. And finally, settings, which we've already gone through. By the way, in display duration, I kind of skipped past that one. This is where you can set the timeout for uh, how long it'll go with the full display before it times out. You don't have an always capability there, so you can't run this watch in always, always on but you can have it set up to a minute and it'll time out. Or, of course, you can just cover the screen at any time if you have that activated. So I set mine for 60, the maximum, and then I can just simply cover the screen to turn it off. Come back 
and we were here in settings and that's all of the stuff in the apps now again we don't have a lot of um, cards as you go around it just goes straight to there and the left goes to notifications so all of your apps are individually uh, accessed uh, from swiping to the left go up now and we get a abbreviated cards of that show you a lot of stuff your step count the music player heart rate and blood oxygen and stress levels are available the weather and alarms last night's sleep so this is kind of a short synopsis of um the basic information stopwatch is still running timers and you can edit all of these move them around take some out add some in all of that's at your control so you have plenty of information available to you your primary things are coming down for all of these coming up for all of these and individual apps you can get to directly through here now, one more interesting, fun thing to show you regarding uh, navigation are the two side buttons, the up and down button. They work um, just like you'd expect, up and down from the watch face. So up is the same thing as sliding down to take you up, come back down to the watch face, down once more, and you're into all of these little cards all the way down, one by one, all the way up. And, of course, they'll be up and down in any page that you're on. If it extends down below the page, uh, you can scroll up and down uh, using these buttons. Let's dive into that special Cospet Fit app now. This is what the icon looks like in the Google Play Store. You install it to your phone. You uh, set it all up. You open it. You pair your watch to it. And you'll land into this home page. Now, ironically, this looks a lot like another app we've reviewed already in the past. And turns out this is kind of a superset of that one that Cospet's taking in their own direction. In a future video on one of these other uh, Cospet watches, I'll show you how that pairs to the other app and how well it compares with this app. Have you subscribed? Hope so. Thank you. Here we go. We got uh, the watches paired, the watches synced. We've got all the information on here. This is the step count of the day. I come in here, you can see when per hour the steps were taken. Uh, and broken down as well with more information as far as you'd like to go by day, week, or month. You've got heart rate in here. Nighttime heart rates followed by daytime. And it's from midnight to the current time. So the scale keeps getting smaller and smaller as you go through the day until you end up with all 24 hours like this on, uh, on the screen. You got your resting heart rate, your zone range, and your average heart rate, and of course the breakdown of when you were spending your time in all these different uh, periods of uh, workout. And a little bit of description about heart rate. Week shows you each day of the week and so forth. Then you got your last night's sleep time. Total, broken down uh, when you went to sleep, when you woke up exactly, and where you were in the cycles of awake. REM, light, and deep sleep, how those broke down in a pie chart of sorts, and some analysis of your sleep now. It tells you the duration, your deep sleep ratio, your light sleep ratio, and how you balance in between all of that, REM and awake. And then, of course, a sleep analysis that tells you uh, that I went to sleep late that particular night, and the day before, and the day before that, these don't seem to be changing much, but let's go back up to here where you can see it a little bit better. There's the chart and so forth on that. Yeah. Now blood oxygen is showing you on a 0 to 100%, which means you're just looking at that tiny little section there. I love it when they make it like 90 to 100, maybe 80 to 100. You see more uh, break in uh, between the readings because if you fall down too low <laughs> it's going to be bad well, actually this is going down to 85 so that's a little better than starting at zero still we're bouncing around in the top 96 to 99 range what oxygen saturation is all about stress now which is kind of based on heart rate variability as i understand it it shows uh, easy during sleep normal and so forth through here there's your breakdown in overall stress. Lowest, average, and highest are shown uh, as well. And you can check each day. If you don't have the watch on, it doesn't do a uh, reading for you. 
and that's it. You can edit these cards, move them around or take some of them out, but that is the uh, scientific data reading of your activity and your overall uh, health uh, factors as well. The sporting tab gives you the different exercises you can do. These are the typical ones that you can set up to automatically start if you want to, but you can bring in others as well. And your exercise records in all of these categories would appear on here as you do your workouts. Then the device itself, we're looking at the Tank T3 Ultra, okay? And a battery level is connected. You've got the watch face uh, gallery in here. Some of the other factors you can change, your weather location information, more settings on your do not disturb, uh, your overall screen timeout, uh, your unit settings, imperial or metric, Fahrenheit or centigrade, uh, units of weight, and your language settings are there as well. Then you get your control of your incoming calls and SMS and app reminders, all those push to your watch, your sedentary reminders and alarm clocks. Now in health monitoring, you can enable heart rate, blood oxygen, and stress levels, or turn them off if you want to save on your battery usage. Your contacts that you want to have on your watch, you set those up here. And this is that SMS reply that uh, you can do, so you can just do a quick reply, because there's no keyboard on the watch. But if you've got something set up, like, can't get back to you, but I got your message, whatever you want to do, you can do that there. Here's where you add your SMS emergency contacts that you can make a call directly from your watch. Remember, you have to have your phone with you, with your watch, and the two of them paired for Bluetooth calling in order for the SOS to work. Don't assume that just by setting up a contact, you're covered. You got to make sure, test it out before you go out doing something where you think you might need to use it. System update, it'll show you the current version. You can update it directly from there or it'll push to your phone or your watch. And then about device will tell you all about your device. And you can, of course, reset the watch or unbind everything. Now, the last thing we want to cover for the uh, Tank M3 Ultra are the watch faces in the watch face gallery. Tap here and you get into the overall uh, watch face gallery. And look, it's been divided up now. You have these separate always on displays. We showed you some that you can get directly from the watch, right? But check it out. There are other ones in here as well. In fact, there's a whole bunch of them. These will only show up when the watch goes into always on mode. And then boom, when you come back to your main watch face, they disappear. So you've got combo analog digital, you got separate ones, you got really dim ones, you got really bright ones. Very, very nice. I'm loving it that they're starting to do this so that all these new watches with the AMOLED OLED screens will have a, another dimension to them of uh, watch faces that you can choose. And of course, then you've got all these other uh, faces categorized into different sections. Any one of them, you can hit more. It'll expand and show you a variety of faces. And these you can download. And they will be the actual watch faces that you see on the watch. One at a time. Can't put more than one, but you can change them around any which way you want to. And then over here is your custom face. This is where you can change to stock background pictures. Pick out your own if you want to and where you position um, the digital display. When you're done, download it, sync it, and that will change that one particular face on your watch. And finally, you. This is where you can log in. I'm coming in as a guest. All of this data is here as a guest, but if I want to, I can create an account, log in, It'll be, uh, all the data will be archived so that I can get it back anytime I log into the account. This is the VL.3 grade, a fitness value. Uh, I've met some of the goal, it looks like. You can add more than one device to this app, which is great. Usually you're only limited to one device, but because of, of a restructuring of the app by Cospet, you have multiple device uh, pairing capabilities. Of course, the watch has to do that too. So I know the Ultras will do that. Not sure if the Tank uh, T3 and M3 uh, separately will do that, um, but it's an evolution that things are coming. You can put in your profile information, uh, see a weekly report, which I don't have a full week, and I guess you have to log in uh, in order to do that. 
set up your goal setting in terms of steps, calories, and distance traveled. And ladies, you set up your whole menstrual period cycle information here. You can set a device reminder on it, and uh, that will then push to your watch when you want to see that. You got, um, as far as Cospet goes, a mall for buying things, forums on there, customer services available, your system settings now, basic stuff, check for updates, clear your uh, storage, and help and feedback. So a well manufactured, engineered upgrade for a uh, smartwatch app. It's the um, Cospet Fit app. So by way of summary, I really think this is an amazing watch. Actually, all four of them are great. It's a new Cospet line, the T3 Ultra. It is really a hardened watch. You haven't seen me freezing it, hitting it with a hammer, running over it with a car, throwing it against the wall, but I could, and other people do. So be sure to watch the videos of the uh, uh, how, how survivable this watch is. You've got 15 different military-grade tests meeting the um, mill standard 810H uh, specification. Uh, in terms of the watch itself, its usability, it's great. I love the round version. This one is my favorite, although we will be doing the rectangular. Where are you? Here you are. The rectangular M3 Ultra, and a uh, very similar operation to this one, but a completely different case. We'll do a full-on review of that. You've seen a really detailed review of this one, and uh, this is kind of the gold standard review to watch if you want to see how everything works inside of it. By the way, I just noticed something fun about this watch face. I was a little disappointed. It looked like the compass wasn't working. But check this out, guys. If I come in here and I rotate the compass around to, say, there, and then I bail out of it, the compass is shifted and it's pointed that way. So you use it as a waypoint identifier. And, you know, set up where you're headed, lock it in, come back to the watch face, and this can guide you if you know how to use a compass when you're out in a, a doing things in the forest. So very fancy integrated watch faces with this. You can turn it off. You can tap to turn it on. Beautiful. And a shout out again. Uh, I'm, a, I'm totally blown away that Cospet took the time, energy, and money to come all the way to Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show to introduce their watches. These are not little fly-by-night things. They're going to make a hundred of them and disappear. This company is solid. They've been around a long, long time. We've reviewed their Android watches in the past and all kinds of other rugged watches that they've made. So uh, you can stand by this one. It's really decent. Um, the Con Cospet Tank T3, or just plain T3 Ultra. Again, the difference with the T3, uh, or with the Ultra line, is these puppies have the uh, GPS module in it, the six different um, radios, whatever, uh, high quality GPS, whereas the standard Tank T3 and M3 don't have the GPS. But we will be looking at all of this. We're going to compare the ultras with the regular and the round with the square and all of them together in future videos. So subscribe if you haven't. Check that bell so you can be notified and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. And once again, this amazing watch is available directly from Cospet, their official store. It's in a special early bird uh, pricing right now in the March-April 2024 time frame. If you're watching this beyond that, no problem. Use our special link, bit.ly slash Cospet T3 Ultra. Head on over. Check the show notes. I've got some exclusive codes in there that go along with that. Pop that code in and get your best price available. All right.